welcome back to my channel my channel is about treating yourself with to a little bit of luxury whether that be your favorite fragrance cup of coffee skincare handbags slgs all that stuff nail polish all the things that make you feel a little bit better about yourself if you like that kind of content please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it and comment down below with your thoughts opinions etc i'd really appreciate hearing from you um so i'm really excited to be part of this shop your con <laughs> closet challenge excited to do this one i was a little worried that i wouldn't have items to fit all of the different trends because i, I kind of get set in my ways with the items that i purchase i don't really follow trends too often i just kind of like what i like and it's, it just is what it is. But this one seemed intriguing. And if you are new to my channel, what I've been doing since, I want to say it was like March. So it's at this point, I'm filming this in September of 2024. And I'm on like week 22, maybe 23, at this point of um, the Swap Out Saturday um, series. So every Saturday, I switch out of my handbag, I've been trying to go in and use every handbag in my collection, or at least make an effort to consciously try to use items in my collection. So not just my handbag, I swap out of my nail polish, I swap out of my fragrances for the week, and just trying to make an effort because sometimes what I, and I don't know if you encounter this too in your um, own collections is like you go out and you buy like whatever has been eyeing, you know, you're, you've been lusting after a certain bag or something and you buy it, you swap into it and you're stuck in it for about a month. And then when you're done, you move on to the next one and it goes back up into your collection and you maybe don't touch it again or you just forget about it, Wh whatever, you know, the reason may be. But I don't donate or cycle out or give away a lot of my items or even sell them. So it's just kind of like they just are here collecting dust. So I was trying to make an effort to really utilize what I have and make an effort to utilize them. So this particular tag I found very almost fitting to that kind of concept and also keeping in mind how to take what I currently have and fit them into what may be trending, which is not something I typically would do. I would just use what I want to use and what fits the purpose for the week and go forth. So anyway, with that being said, he has given us a challenge of seven categories or niches, what have you, of bags to find. And I have poked around in my collection and they're not just in the same order that he um, might have done in his video, but I did my best. I'm old school. I have written down <laughs> here my notes and I'm going to start with clutches. For clutches, I decided to go ahead and just kind of grab a few examples, not necessarily just focus on one, but I have a couple that I utilize regularly. Um, some of them actually has cross bodies as well, so they are not just like a wristlet or a grab like this, but they can be. So the Coach um, crossbody here is a good example. This wallet on chain from YSL is also one I use heavily. Like I use it too much is really the problem. Um, while I love it, I need to make a conscious effort to grab something else. And that one is going to be, and my recommendation is this YSL wristlet. Um, I really love this color. It's wisteria. Um, I believe it was fall of 23's collection. I ended up buying it fall 23. It might have been fall 22. I remember I bought it the season after it came out and was really lucky to have located it um, at my boutique up in Portland. And it was one of the last ones they had, but it was ended up being all scratched up. So the associate there was very kind and ended up ordering me one new, thankfully they still had them available to order and it came in and it's been gorgeous, but I don't take it out nearly enough. Um, I don't know why in, on some level, I when I think of it in my collection, I think of it being very pastel. And it's not, it's a, it's a very medium mauve kind of purple that um, is, is very much a, a useful fall 
spring. I mean, I think you can use it year round. It's a very lovely tone of purple that I think is very versatile. So I think I want to make an effort to utilize this during the fall and have it be the clutch for this season. They still make this style. Um, it just it comes in different colors depending on the time of year. So it's a very simple envelope style. Um, I have seen people take a longer crossbody and wrap it around the envelope to make it into an actual bag. It can wear a little bit right here. And so I've done that before. Um, as long as you don't do it often or carry too much, um, too heavy of items in there, it won't cause too much damage, but um, that is an option for, for folks to do. Anyway, it's one big open compartment with one um, slip pocket at the back. And at the time that I bought this, I believe it was $6.95, might have been $7.95. And I believe it's still around that, that cost. So it's not, um, you know, completely out of, um, I don't think it's completely unreasonable for um, the, the quality of the leather that you get. Um, the style of it is quite pretty. I just think it's a, a lovely clutch for um, a, a number of different occasions. Of course, you know, a black would, would be much more versatile and it does come um, in black with silver, black with gold, or you can get the black on black, which is stunning, but um, I have heard about some, the hardware scratches really easily on the, on the black. So that was my first choice was the black on black when I ended up with, with this one. So this is the one I am going to recommend for clutch of the fall. Okay. So for the next category, we are focusing on the East West trend. There's a lot of different examples of the East West trend out there. For the most part, it just means, you know, a bag that's obviously longer than it is tall. I don't have a whole lot of East West in my collection. I seem to have a lot of boxy or unstructured type bags, but mostly um, like the boxy shape is what I tend to go go for. And you're going to see that kind of with the other items that I, that I pull out. But I had one that seemed to fit fit this one pretty well and I do like it a whole lot and it does I believe in my opinion there's another fall trend like kind of this bowling ball kind of um bowling bag excuse me shape and I think this is the best version of um of that this is an epi bag from years ago um I got here in a consignment shop and I really do enjoy um, carrying it. I want to say it's the Montaigne PM, if I remember correctly. It might be the GM. I'm pretty sure it's the PM, but I will insert the information on the screen. But this is probably my best example, and other than my Claudia, maybe, of an East-West. The Claudia is a little bit taller, though, so I think this is the, the best East-West item and probably the one I'd use the most this time of year. It's definitely a really nice bag. I pulled it out um, in the spring this year and utilized it on one of the swap out Saturday weeks and the Epi is just so strong. You can, I mean, it takes a lot to, to damage Epi leather. It's just a really nice um, material. So um, they last forever great bags and you can usually find these you know sub $500 on the pre-love market I don't think I paid more than for 450 for it at the consignment shop that I bought it up in Portland so um, I got a great deal and I love it so all right so the next one was the ludicrous, <laughs> ludicrously capacious extra extra large hobo and I'm taking liberties with this one because it's it's a hobo shape but it's kind of um, extra pretty, extra, I guess, fussy, pretentious. I don't know. There's so many adjectives for how I would describe my hobo bag. It's not your standard, just like, you know, Crescent. It's not the Brooklyn from Coach right now, or, you know, the, um, oh, what are the ones from Hermes that, like an Evelyn, or um, there's another one that's 
um, the trim, very common from them, your standard shape one. So mine is from Louis Vuitton and it's so, it's so extra, it's crazy. It's the Mahina XL Hobo. And it, I mean, I can get a, a 15 inch laptop in this sucker and everything that goes into my Neverfull GM, I can pack into this sucker. It's heavy as all get out, but you can get a lot in, in this bad boy. And she is soft and squishy and beautiful. And surprisingly, these don't hold their value on the pre-loved market at all. So you can find just about any color and material for sub $1,000. And if, in my opinion, if you like this shape of bag, get one because Mahina is the most beautiful leather. If you just kind of like a more subtle monogram print, it's, it's beautiful. So this is my <laughs> extra, extra large, ridiculously bag, big, big bag. Um, and I just love it. So my XXL hobo. Okay. We reached half time. Half time is the bucket bag. And the bucket bag for me, on one hand, I, I really like bucket bags because I'm just like throw stuff in there and it's, a, you know, just it's a black hole and just don't worry about it. But I have an actual bucket bag. She's up there. I would say, yeah, I'm going to utilize that one. I won't because she, her lining, I've talked about it before, her lining is very um, delicate right now. It's gonna rip. So while I might make every conscious effort of shopping my closet and utilizing the GM bucket bag from LV, it's just not gonna happen. So she's gonna sit up there and be very pretty and admired from afar. But what I will tell you to do is get yourself some no ways because these suckers are workhorses they're fabulous i mean it's a liberty on the bucket because you know it's a square bottom it's not a round bottom but they are still bucket bags they are still you know big black holes that get in there you can just dump everything in the kitchen sink in there why i like the no ways even more than the bucket bags is because you can um you know cinch them close and make them look a little bit more um I guess refined or, or what have you. Um, I like the straps on the no ways better than on um, that bucket bag. I like all of the epi versions of them. So for me, the bucket shape is just lovely in a, a no way. So pick yourself up something like this relatively inexpensive. Okay, so the next one on this is the cargo trend. And this is where I started to have a little bit of, I'm not sure if I have anything that fits the cargo trend. So I have a tiny bag that's, I, I don't think I'd, I'd it, while it fits the trend, I wouldn't carry it. And I, I keep her up just for nostalgia purposes um, but because it's so Y2K, it so fits, you know, a certain narrative, I can't see me carrying this really anywhere right now. I mean, it, maybe it, there could be, there could be a situation, but the, unfortunately the, um, canvas is clouded. There's just some damage to it that I just can't see myself, um, utilizing it. And then the other one that could have possibly fit this bill is a Reed Craycoff, Reed Craycoff one I have. And unfortunately, that's a patent um, leather in a very light, like nude tone pink with pockets on the side. And that just, it's like pockets like this. It just wouldn't fit for this time of year. So I, I just, I'm going to call myself a fail on this and probably a bag I need to add to my collection as well. I'm not going to be able to shut that closet for, for this one okay so for the next one it's the xxl belted bags or belted bags in general which i don't have extra extra large ones per se so we're talking like you know the empire the margot those like you know giant bags that are out right now i think there's a prada one as well so while i have belted bags and mostly um i have the reed bags that have this really prominent belt um, accent. 
on the bags. When I started thinking about, you know, the Sangles, the Birkin-esque type of um, bags, mine are very retro, very, very retro, and um, might be considered tacky by some, but I still love them, and I have several of them, and so I'm going to, and I think they would be considered extra, extra L, because I um, can fit a computer in them and love them very much. So um, this is my Hamilton, um, in pebbled leather, and this is the, um, gold. I also have it in black. I have it in a vanilla cream color. I also have a purple Safiano one as well. And at one point I probably had a dozen of them in varying colors and the different hardware combinations. Um, I have a shorter traveler version as well, but I, particularly am fond of this long style, very, a very capacious, very, um, just very spacious. And the belts are, um, expandable when you remove the lock. If you so, so chose to do that to make it a little bit more spacious, I haven't had the need ever in the time I've ever carried them, but, um, oh, this one's dusty. So I typically bring this one out this time of year, starting in October. I have a pair of boots that go perfectly with it. So I wear this one a lot. The black one, not so much anymore, but um, I wore the white one earlier this year for the, uh, the Saturday swap out and really enjoyed carrying it. So um, I definitely utilize this still. And this would be the bag I would choose for the belted trend at this time. Okay, so for the last trend that we're gonna talk about, um, <laughs> my, my first thought was literally to lay down with like every bag I have in a jewel tone and just like, I don't know, pick one. But <laughs> it, I have a lot and mostly in green. I have a lot of green bags. Um, I have one sapphire blue one over there. I should have grabbed it. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Hold please. Okay, so sapphire blue. I think of deep, dark sapphire. My um, citadine in, um, I want to say it's ink, but I'll put the, the color up there. Really enjoy this one for deep, dark jewel. I love the coach burrow that I have. I have two of these, one in the giant version here. I also have the regular size. So blue, green. And then of course, we've got this lovely garnet maroon color peekaboo from Fendi. And I think overall in the fall, this is the only time of year I really wear this peekaboo. So this one has to win out. But <laughs> honestly, because I've only carried this one a couple of times, I really should be using this one. That's why I went and grabbed it because I'm like, oh, you think about the jewel tones. I really should be using these two bags. Now, as much as I love the burrow, they'll, they're going to get used year round. Green is like, you know, brown for me. It's, it's a year round color. Um, Navy for some reason, I only, I only bring it out in the winter and this one for some reason as well. I'm just, uh, there's something about it that makes me only want to carry it. Um, late fall through maybe the holidays for the, the red tone, but for the most part, it just stays up there. Very decorative and very beautiful. But these are the jewel tones that I'm gonna work on for this infinity. That's the color. <laughs> it, came, it comes to me. Infinity is the, the blue there. And it's a lovely Emprunt um, Louis Vuitton this lovely maroon from Fendi. Those are the bags that are shopping my closet for fall 2024. And I'm sure I'll have more. I'm going to continue my weekly series of swapping out my bags at the very least every Saturday through, I think, until I start Vlogmas. At Vlogmas, I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> because I typically record every day. So I, I don't see myself swap out a bag every day, but you never know. We'll have to see. We'll see how, th how things go. But at this point, I'd love to hear what you might be shopping in your closet, what you think in your collection 
fits into these categories. If you'd like to do this video, please do so. I uh, will tag a couple of people down below, but consider yourself tagged because you don't have to be tagged by somebody to do it. You can just do it. I do them all the time. So I just poke myself in there. I'm like, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> so please be encouraged. Please, you have a channel, feel the need, put it on Instagram, do whatever you want to do, <laughs> make yourself happy. But I really enjoy having you here. If you enjoyed having fun picking out these bags, um, please consider subscribing, comment down below, all those things. Thank you, Caleb, for uh, tagging me again. I appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.